tie probably last April, uh, and the, one of the big reasons that I started wearing the bow tie was, um, well, for one thing, my father used to wear bow ties every day, and it was really sort of a tribute not only to him, but a number of other people that um, I really think very highly of. A number of professors in college that I had um, were bow ties, um, and I think the, the really cool thing about the bow tie is that it also sort of perpetuates this this symbolism of the science guy. Um, uh, you know, if you're familiar with Bill Nye, he always wears a bow tie, and uh, I really like fitting into that role. So that's one reason I like wearing the bow tie. And uh, it is a great look for science teachers. I'm an English teacher myself, but I think it, uh, it fits that role as well, hopefully. Um, you know, I became a, uh, a crusader in the bow tie Friday movement uh, because of the harsh reality the bow tie has been overlooked for too long with nods to Hamlet right here. Uh, bow ties have been known to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. But we're here to change that. Uh, you know, there are many advantages to wearing a bow tie. For instance, number one, it'll keep the trapezius muscles warm on a cold day, or if you're an athlete in the gym preparing to do shrugs in the weight room. Secondly, bow ties uh, will not get in your food like a normal necktie would if you bend over the lunch table. You really can't go wrong. Vive le nude papillon!